spread in the coronavirus, prompting recommendations of gatherings of 10 or more limited. The Capitol is shutting down. 12 News' Gerald Harris is live and has the details. Gerald. Yeah, Melanie, the House and Senate will be out of session until at least April 1st. Both chambers coming to an agreement to two bills, one that will provide some relief to local government employees, including educators, and the second one to suspend the session. But Democrats in the House raise concern about people who will be laid off or have hours cut back that aren't government employees. But that federal legislation is not here. We have more than a billion dollars in, in, in extenuity funds that we have that we can access to temporarily take care of people in these conditions. And I think we should do that. And I'm happy to hear, uh, and, I'm, and, I, and I applaud the, the leadership in the House and the Senate for taking care of state, county, and, and uh, uh, city employees. But I don't think it would have been that much more to go a little bit further and take care of uh, the rest of the working people in this Republicans did block an amendment that would have offered that support to some of those private sector employees. Democratic House Minority Leader, who you just heard, Robert Johnson, did push for that effort on the House floor. Republicans say the federal government will take care of those private sector employees. Now, Republican leaders are leaning to the federal government to address this issue. The Senate will be back in session tomorrow morning to finalize the details of the two-week, what it seemed like, two-week uh, recess to April 1st. Leadership here say they have been in constant contact with the governor and they're in lockstep with those decisions. Reporting at the Capitol, Joe Harris, 12 News.